Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminally, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today, very definitely horror, um, I'm going to talk about the lost masterpiece, The Journey, by William Willie Wilson. So this is one of those books that I, I've been aware of for a long time and never thought I would get the opportunity to read. Um, so I'm absolutely overjoyed that I have. Um, it was originally published, or originally written in 1971, um, but was never published. So, so the author, William Willie Wilson, um, had taken it around a few publishers in the States, including like Simon & Schuster and people like that, you know, some of the big ones, and nobody would touch it. Um, because it was so flipping horrible. Um, so there's one scene in particular, um, which is, you know, has always been referred to whenever I've heard about this book as the throating scene, um, which was just considered far too extreme for, for the public. Um, you know, even, even in the, the 70s, which was fairly permissive and wild. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a book that I had as a, as a teenager, and I've said this on the channel before, so as a teenager, um, I, a lot of my friends are really into horror, and, you know, we used to hang out, so this is like the kind of mid, mid, 80, mid to late 80s, early 90s when I was in my teens. Um, and we would, you know, read all the horror magazines like Fangoria and stuff like that. And, and um, this was at a time when it was really difficult to get like uncut horror movies in the UK. Um, so one of the guys I knew had a contact who could get my like dodgy vi copied VHS um, versions of various um, films which were banned in the UK. Um, but one of my friends, his dad worked in the publishing industry and I, he had heard about this book and I remember him telling me about it. I'm not sure if his dad had read it or not. I think he claimed that he'd seen like an early manuscript of it. Um, but yeah, I, I, I can't remember the exact details, but I definitely remember the name. And I've seen references occasionally to it since then on like internet message boards and things like that. Um, but uh, yeah, as I say, I thought it was lost forever and that I was never going to read it. Um, but it turns out, so William Willie Wilson um, sadly died fairly recently. Um, and he was so turned off, apparently, by the whole experience of trying to get this book published and the extreme, you know, allergic reaction he got to it from publishers um, that he kind of pretty much disowned it and, and said he'd never try and get it published again. Um, and he then apparently, and I wasn't aware of this, apparently then ended up having quite a successful writing career, writing cosy mysteries. Um, although nobody's saying, you know, what pseudonym, he apparently used a pseudonym, no one's saying what pseudonym he used. Um, but anyway, now that he's passed away, um, this book uh, has been picked up by a small horror press um, and published, which is fantastic. And they've reached out to um, to Juan, played by Visions, um, because of his, you know, reputation on BookTube for, um, you know, reading transgressive and, and disturbing books, um, to see if he'd be interested in reviewing it. Um, and one reached out via his Discord to see if anyone else was interested as well. Um, and I immediately leapt at the chance to read it. Um, and I'm so glad I have, because it's quite, in, it, it's insane. So, as the name suggests, um, this is a book about a man going on a journey and it's a, I don't want to give too much of the plot away because it will spoil it, but it goes in a lot of very strange and crazy directions. In some ways, I think it draws on Conrad's Heart of Darkness um, and it also reminded me a bit at times of the Jodorowsky, and I always pronounce his name wrong, you know, the, the Mexican guy, um, his film El Topo, in that just it, it's full of very surreal, dreamlike, dark, dark stuff. Um, there are, you know, multiple scenes of, of horrific acts um, yeah, and, and, you know, it builds up to this throating scene. Um, but there is so much before that, which is, you know, shocking in its own right. Um, you know, all sorts of implements, animals, um, you know, food used in strange ways. Um, it, it really is quite something. Um, you know, I've read a few horrific books in my time, a fair few, few horrific books, but this really did live up to its its reputation of being a very, very shocking read. Um, I can't think of, um, a, you know, a, an act of violence or a, an act of sexual depravity that's not represented in the journey. Um, and it's not that long a book either, but he manages to cram it all in there, no pun intended. Um, 
So yeah, it's uh, it, yeah, it's definitely a troubling book. Um, even without the throating scene, it will be a troubling book. And I'm not going to go into details of what that is because it will it will spoil it for you. But you you need to you need to be a pre be prepared um, for something unbelievably repellent. <laughs> um, I can't think of any other way to describe it. Um, so yeah, but, you know, d take this book. Um, with a sincere warning from me that it is not for the easily shockable or faint of heart um but it is uh, it is very very good i mean his 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 depth of character his his dialogue is fantastic the characters are really interesting so obviously you know you've got the main character who's going on this ex this extended crazy journey um but that involves him meeting all sorts of different people along the way um you know as you'd expect it's got that kind of quest vibe to it i guess um and some of those characters are absolutely fantastic, you know, really richly drawn, you, you know, characters who you only meet for a, a very short amount of time, but really leap off the page. Um, and frequently they get killed in horrible ways. Um, so, yeah, it's it, it, you know very well written. I'm, I'm very interested to find out um, what these cosy mysteries he wrote were, because um, he's, you know, he's such a good wordsmith. I think I'd probably enjoy reading anything by him. I would certainly... Um, you know, relish reading something by him that didn't involve having to have a sick bag nearby. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, it, it's coming out very soon. Um, look out for it on, on Amazon and all your normal places. Um, as soon as I know exactly when the when the publishing date is, um, I'll let you know. I can't remember off the top of my head when it was, but I'll put a community post up um, or something like that, because I think there's a reasonable chance it's not going to be around for long. Um, so yeah, do look out for it. The Journey by William Willie Wilson um, comes with a, a great big criminally recommendation. Um, so as always, hope you're all safe and well. Um, hope you're all reading good stuff. Hope the weather's good where you are. It's lovely and warm um, here in the UK. Um, unseasonably warm for April. And I have to say, I can't believe we've got to um, the beginning of April already. This year is flying by. Uh, but yeah, I hope you're all safe and well. And I will speak to you all again very soon. Cheerio.